today's Food for Thought comes from the fourth chapter of Ephesians, verses 22 through 24, which reads, Put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Dwelling within all of us sincere believers is the Holy Spirit, whose works transform us into the new person that Paul is speaking of here in this verse. By the Holy Spirit, we should move in a conduct that is of God's grace. In other words, we should live extending the love that God has shown to us to all of those that are around us. Now, what does this look like? Well, love, it edifies, it uplifts others to new heights, to where they prosper, not just in the world, but that they prosper spiritually as well. The world, however, it sadly teaches us a way of selfishness, which often causes us, it causes people to conspire against one another rather than uplift each other. As believers, it should trouble us if we ever move against another person. It should not sit well within our hearts. Now, why is that? Well, it is because the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, quite frankly, has trained us to be better. He has trained us to do better. And we also know the word of God. Jesus told us to do unto others as we would desire for them to do unto us. Our morals, as true believers, they are guided by the word of God. They are guided by the spirit. And when we trouble the spirit, he will let us know that we have done wrongly. It should not sit well within us to do wrongly by others. So. I encourage you today to do everything possible not to sour, not to grieve your soul. To do this, do your very best to abide by the Spirit. Listen to His voice and then let the Holy Spirit guide your thoughts. Let the Holy Spirit then guide your actions. Music